Season 2 of the Pat and JT Podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time, always gonna be the best. To come out. Exclusively on the Parkville Network. Well, all right. uh, Parkvillemedia.com. That's our website for our company, or patentjt.com. That's our website where you can find out wherever you can uh, listen to our podcast. Uh, you can link through to our Amazon store, everything, anything we talk about that we you know, things we enjoy, things mm-hmm. that we purchase on Amazon, mostly pet stuff, but whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Pets and food. This morning, legit, speaking of pets, these p- pets, are you kidding? <laughs> I mean, so I'm uh, getting ready to leave. Uh, I left a little early this morning. Go to, I went to Kosama. I know this is crazy. Oh God, There's a go. 4.30 in the morning class, That's right? stupid. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There's, there are very few people that understand this. Um, elite athletes what? that get up early in the morning and we work out. I, I went would, to the 4.30 in the morning class. I'm going to ask the next time an elite athlete comes in here, which we do have a couple that do wander through. The next one, one time one's in here. I'm have, just going to ask them without you prepping them. I have nothing in common with them. <laughs> except about have a their heartbeat exercise and habits and when they prefer to exercise. And I do know that some of the elite athletes that we have in here, like Danny Woodhead, would work out at 5 o'clock in the morning when he was with the Chargers, San Diego Chargers. He was with the Chargers. So I'm thinking, I, when if, was, I go, when if, I work at four, if I work at 4.30, <laughs> when that it was makes me job. better than him. <laughs> I'll, I'll be sure and point that out. Well, okay, so... You're better than I'm an getting, NFL player. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Oh, I'll, I'll point that out to him. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so I get up early, set the alarms, and get to uh, 144th and Maple by 4.30. Oh, my God. Drop off coffee next time you drive by. awesome, by the way. <laughs> I, did, I actually did literally drove by your house. I for, know. <laughs> 424 or whatever. It's awesome, by yeah. the way. Okay. So anyway, I forgot where, where was that? Oh, so I get up, I go and at 4.30 in the morning, and I'm and like 4.15, and I hear, as I'm walking out the door, like this panicked meow, mm-hmm. meow, and I know the meow. There's a video on our Facebook page of the meow, the I'm almost out of food, I'm gonna mm-hmm. die meow. Like they're, 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 there's no food in <laughs> Molly and Addie's cat food in a, bowls. In a 100 mile radius. At all. Mm. Like they're gonna die. Yes. I'm like, oh God. Go feed okay. them. <laughs> So, and it makes noise, and it's in the middle of the living room. It's going to make noise when I dump the food in there because it's so empty. So I did. I walked over, and there was like a, I don't know, an eighteenth of an inch yeah. hole. Do you ever just put your bottom. fingers in and just mix it around? I have, but they 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 know that they know it. They know that game. Uh, they don't stop. You can't let them see you do it. Well, they're there, like they're <laughs> on me, because they're making sure I'm not going to let them die. Have you seen that? Well, you probably did. The video I posted of the cat that's looking at his bowl. Yes. And, and then the voiceover that comes in. Addie. Dear diary. It appears that our food yes. bowls have been depleted. That is absolutely. There's been no answer to our calls for more nourishment. We are going to die. And it appears we're going to die. There's enough food for <laughs> six days in their bowl. Like in their bowl. Right. It is un. <laughs> yes. I don't understand. And and it's like, I'll be in the bathroom brushing my teeth and I hear, Meow, and I'll look down and she's standing in the bathroom or looking at me like, mm-hmm. uh, hey, dick, <laughs> we have no food. You're and, brushing your teeth? Right. Really? Do you understand the severity of the situation in the living room? And I, <laughs> my, Anywho. okay, I'm just going to throw this out here too because uh, old Dexter and Bella are getting much more bold. Now, have you been able to pet them without tuna yet? Uh, no, kitty tuna though is huge hit. Well, yeah. Um, you say kitty tuna, and now I realize the cats can hear. I thought they were both they deaf. Say, you, so you say kitty tuna, kitty tuna, and they come running. Yes. All right. If Fair they're enough. not already in the room when I turn on the lights, staring at me. But then, if usually if, they're that, in the room. At that point, if you reach down to pet them, would they take off? Yeah. Jerks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If <clears throat> usually though, when I get up in the morning, here's okay. And I laugh at you because you're up at four 30, but I don't go leave and go work out. But Jack wakes me up at like four, four 30. And I come downstairs because I think he wants to go outside. And the last two or three times he's done this, by the time I get downstairs, he's laying on the couch. Then why is he waking you up? I don't know. But I come downstairs <clears throat> and then I turn on the light in the other room, and there sit the two cats staring at me. Like they want tuna? Yes. 
Well, maybe he's letting you know. And I think no, his sisters want to. No. I think there's some kind of a, of a plan. Okay, there. Yeah, there is something going on. So anyway, um, and I feel if him you're up that early, I'd be more than happy to pick you up on the way to the gym. <laughs> Not a chance. Come on, <laughs> let's just do it. Six <laughs> weeks. Nope. You'd love I, it. <laughs> I barely make it through. I I get in the kitchen. I grab the the kitty tuna, which is in the fridge. Grab the little container. And I, I feed them separately because Dexter's a honk and he eats his really fast and he goes after Bella's and Bella eats right. really slow because I think she only has like two teeth. And so she very slowly <laughs> licks it all up. And so I give her a lot of, because wow. it's tuna in water. So I give her a lot of the water. So it she sounds can, delicious. Right? I know, right? At six or four in the morning. So and awful. so I give her a little spoonful. And Smelling that at 4.30 in the morning would just awesome. be awful. <laughs> and then I give, mm. and, and when I'm giving her hers, mm-hmm. Dexter is right behind me. Just awful. Try to, try to pet him. Awful try to noise. pet him. Pet him. Just say, listen, dude, if you're going to do that, you know what? I'm going to pet you. And then he takes off running over to his dish. Well, but I always get the pet though afterwards. And she doesn't. <clears throat> now she does the, the butt goes up in the air. She purrs. I can rub her neck. She, she does but the whole thing. But not unless you have tuna. Right. All right. Well, but he there. still like stiffens up like, Oh God, she's touching me. She's going to kill me. I know she can kill me. And then the minute I stop, he starts eating again. But the minute I touch him, he's like, (gasps) it'll show. Okay, it's done. Okay. She touched me. It's over. So, (laughs) so I basically assault him. So anyway, (laughs) hashtag cat too. Cat too. (laughs) So dumb. But yeah, Jack goes to the couch. And I was thinking about that. And oddly, that's one of those things you think when you're not quite awake is why is it you go to bed, but you don't go to couch? Good. Point. You go to the couch. You don't go to the bed. Yeah, good point. So I don't he know. goes. He goes to couch. He goes to couch. You go to four. the bed, and then about hour and a half later. So then I go to chair. <laughs> I go to chair. <laughs> to my chair. <laughs> I go to <laughs> mama's chair. <laughs> I recline, and then about an hour and a half later, then he's ready to go outside. I, I got up. I got it's up. Crazy. Super. I mean, I got up at four, like at three forty-five. Right, <laughs> you have a dog everything you. Right, you I have there's 15, no dog like nosing you. I have 15 <laughs> minutes to get to 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 Kosama on on Maple, so I get up a little early. 15 whatever. minutes? You're like in Springfield. 16. It takes me. It takes me according to Google 16 minutes. I know I'm weird. You know what? Whatever. Default. Okay. I'm weird. Okay. So I'm in the. I go in the bathroom, brushing my teeth, taking my medications, okay. my vitamins, whatever, <laughs> and I hear. I hear this in the in the bedroom. Where's your phone? Oh my god! Where's your phone? And I, oh my god! I, I don't. I hate waking people up because just because my schedule's early doesn't mean everybody mm-hmm. else's needs to be. So I am ultra sensitive. Actually, what it is is you don't want to talk to anybody because that's exactly how I was. It's like, but I, but no, 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 no. The opposite. I want to talk to everybody. Oh god! Like in the middle of the night, if I know that Beth's awake, I'll point out like, "Hey, what are you doing?" Can you not sleep? You want to talk? What's up? What are you thinking about? Oh, God. Let's read some Bible verses. Just like oh. Bible. So like 100% the opposite. No. So I hear her, I hear Beth at, at 4 o'clock, like yelling at me, where's my phone? I'm thinking, oh, my God. Instantly. You know how when you like, you you think of something and it, it doesn't come to you before, but at the instant you like realize what's going on, mm. you like flashback everything. And I realized that my phone is in the other bathroom and I didn't turn my alarms off. You just muted what was going on. I snoozed. You snoozed. And you I go. did. And I have like four alarms that go yeah. off. So oh I snoozed. God. So I was in brushing my teeth and it was like the whole house wonk, was wonk, that, that, wonk, that stereotypical wonk. iPhone alarm going through the entire house i felt terrible she was where's your beep i'm like oh god i felt i i I really and she never you know whatever she laughed when she got up in the morning Uh uh-huh but i felt terrible i really hate i hate that did you run to go turn it off i did didn't i was terrified no she terrifies me i ran (laughs) i ran God, yeah. So I'll pick you up if you want to go to the gym. No, it's, I'm it's, good. It's uh, it yeah. makes you feel better. It makes you feel good. I'm fine. I barely make it to my chair. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't make That's fun of my cardio. chair. I'm not funny You're talking about your pills. I'm talking about my chair. <laughs> <laughs> my pills. My fi- five five thousand IU of vitamin D. <laughs> my fish. My fish oil. Those things have got to be made smaller. I'm sorry. I, well, I don't. Yeah, I don't understand why fish oil pills have to be so big. I'll take three tiny ones if I could, as opposed to that. But they don't make little ones. I don't get. I why. don't understand Is it. Is it actual fish blood? Oil, oil of some sort. It's like 
it's omega threes, whatever that is. <laughs> it's omegas, and yeah, whatever, but yeah, the fish understand. oil pills are so big. They're good for your hair and your skin, but whatever. Yeah. Anyway, um, let's see here. Well, what that do we was have? Fun. I, I, uh, we have a lot. We have te- a lot of text messages, let's get and to actually, some one four zero two four zero three nine four seven eight, which is um, we got we had a text from. Let me see. It is okay. So this is from. I have a hard time finding out who this is from because they second. take your time. I know we can um, add it. I know. Um, anyway, I don't they, they, actually. They, oh, Jody mm-hmm. said that she uh, occasionally will check my Tune Blast team and your Tune Blast team. Yeah. To see if there's any openings on either team. Yeah. And the other day, ironically, she found an opening on my team <gasps> because oh I cut God. some fat. No big deal. She's on my team. So, okay. Welcome. So the Welcome people that winner. I have, <laughs> um, <laughs> the people that I have, there were some people that noticed you guys finally picked up the pace a little bit. Like you were paying attention to what was going Us? on. No, yeah. it's just, no, you, you guys did. don't understand. Beth and, An- Beth and Angie, my wife and Angie are the, the number one players on the team right. and they can only play as many right. levels there as 48 there are. Other players. Uh, that's, there are that, 48 other players. They just yeah. noticed recently mm-hmm. on your team, yeah. and when you search your team, your score hadn't moved for a while. Okay. And so it's like all of a sudden, oh, somebody woke up and started playing because we were getting close. Oh, no, that has nothing to do with so, it. Oh, I don't Trust know. Trust me, that has nothing to do with it. Let's see, we're at 35,000. <clears> Okay, so in one of Let your teams, you right grab now. your teams, whatever, JT's Nuts or the Outcast, check them out. The highest, the, the person on your team that has the highest level, who doesn't is it? doesn't matter. No, it does. Total points is what we're playing about. No, uh, It's like no. a football game. I don't care how many first downs you get. I'm going to say it again. It doesn't matter. It's the final score. Yeah. Okay, so. It doesn't matter. That, Rusty I'm fine. Justice. You now have a team score. Uh-huh. Dun, dun, dun. I'm waiting for it to, oh my God, it's taking forever. It's one numbers to add. <laughs> A lot of thousands of them. Uh, 40,000. Yeah, see, now you're 5,000 ahead of us. Well, yeah, No, obviously. wait, no, wait. You're at 40,000. <clears> Hold <throat> on, oh, I got to go back. You're at 40,000 and we're at 35. Yeah, we were within 2,100 of you guys. You guys just apparently woke up. We didn't wake up. You haven't been just, playing. We we have been. You, we you got scared. I cut, no. They got scared. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I cut the fat, <laughs> added some ringers. And my A players are now able to grab some like additional levels because when you hit the ceiling, you hit the ceiling. Okay. So if I ask, uh, I think I'll just, I'll throw it out there in my chat and just say, I'm going to cut everybody that's not to level. Uh, I said 200. 50. 50? I've got four players that aren't to level Oh, you know what? I'm sorry that I'm, I guess I'm more elite. I slashed (laughs) anybody under two bills. (laughs) See ya. (laughs) <laughs> I think I'll have to I'll have to cut them. So yeah. Rin, Briella, Maylee, and Azaria. See Azaria. You're in so much trouble. Sorry. Um, because I'm gonna have to open it up to some new players, obviously. And it's yeah. and, and it's J T apostrophe S nuts and U T S or C? Just J T S. Okay. Joe, you know it is J T apostrophe S. That's what I thought. Two words. Um this might help you. Janelle's at twenty three hundred. Twenty six, that's her level. Okay. 20, 23, well, that's, yeah. I mean, that's all a thousand below my wife. Whatever. whatever. We're, we're only 5,000 behind you in points. I don't care. <laughs> I'm only fine. at level 186. Exa- I mean, it's adorable. And, or 184. And we're still within biting distance. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say that. <laughs> um, I would. <laughs> this is, <laughs> we got a text. Um, and but this I'm is wondering, ba- should I just throw it out there in chat and just say, hey, just, just so no, y'all don't know? Even throw, you know what? You can if you want, which I did. I gave him a few weeks to respond. Nobody responded. So, right, um, or should I just, I'll wait till <clears throat> this one goes, this podcast goes out. Sure. And uh, you four, we, we've called you out. And so if you want a second chance, just let us know. Yeah. And if not, I get it. It's no problem. No, that's fine. Doesn't cost us. Doesn't cost us anything. So we can go ahead and we'll we'll kick you off, and then we'll see if somebody else wants to jump on. All right, get on there. Okay, that sounds good. Um. Okay. So um. Let me uh check something real quick. I'm gonna ca- I uh just real quick to see how this works out. My uh <laughs> see how this works out. My uh my daughter just called. So we're gonna call it real quick. Here oh okay. Uh, she, be careful so she doesn't cuss. I know she does that. She does. Oh, <laughs> there's a song. Yeah. 
okay. <laughs> Trust me. Funny. Hello. Hi, bud. Hey, uh, we're Hi, we're we're. Uh, Sip. Hello. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? In the car, going to mom's to grab we're, my stuff. Oh, we're we're uh, we're recording our podcast right now, so you're on our uh, podcast. You cool with that? Okay. Okay. Hi, Sophia. Hi. How you doing? Good. <laughs> She's like, she's so They really are recording it right yeah, now. She's so, oh, no. She's so embarrassed right now. <laughs> and she, you texted me, is it fine if grandma gets, gets you food? It's encouraged if grandma gets you food. <laughs> what are you going to get? I don't know. Probably Culver's. That's fine. Oh, that sounds great. Okay. What I love it. What are you going to get? Hmm? What are you going to get at Culver's? Um, a cheeseburger. Oh. <sighs> chicken strips she likes those too they're the best have you had the chicken strips there no but i was gonna go to chick-fil-a but they had too long of a line oh yeah. they always do it's ridiculous yeah yeah that, that culver's chicken strips won't let you down just saying okay okay all right oh wait listen. actually i have had them before yeah they're, they're pretty good yeah, light they're breading insane. very light breading lots of meat they're really good just saying. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. I, I just want, I didn't want you to think I was ignoring you. So, all right. I'll see you when I get home. This is too much attention. Okay. Love you. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Notice she didn't say I love you. Rude. <laughs> Absolutely rude. Oh my <laughs> totally, God. Totally rude. Oh my God. All right. So I've got one story for you. You, you search your, your text messages and I'm going to throw this story out here. for all you. All right. Um, I saw this earlier. It happened in Yakima, Washington. Okay. Um, let me grab, there we go. Uh, there was a video that was making the rounds. It went viral yesterday. I think it was of a woman who was vacuuming her sidewalk. Um, was it to make, and she, and and I will say this right now. Well, she was vacuuming her sidewalk. And so somebody put the video up (laughs) and just without comment or maybe said something about this woman. Yep. She's vacuuming your sidewalk, whatever. And the internet, of course, went right to, you know, drugs, alcohol, whatever. Wow. Um, <laughs> all kinds of other things. And come to find out, Kathy Rodriguez okay. was the woman who was vacuuming her sidewalk. Um, she found out about it, and she revealed that she was doing it because somebody, ha- a drunk driver had hit her van in the driveway. And Good so there was Lord. glass everywhere. In the driveway? Well, yeah, it, it clipped her van, and it was in the end of her oh, driveway. Gosh, okay. And so there was glass everywhere, and she was just vacuuming okay. up the glass. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, I, I get it, because I've, I've vacuumed before when glass had broken on the driveway. Sure. Or when the guys were doing some, maybe some nails or whatever, some debris. But I was using the shop vac. She was using the Hoover. So, well, that's stupid. And so she had the Hoover, but that's all she probably had. Was right. the Hoover, and so she was out there, and and it was plugged in, you know. And she was out there vacuuming along the sidewalk, but she was vacuuming up the glass because she didn't want any kids or pets to get cut on the glass because the glass nice. was on the sidewalk. And honestly, and and so a lot of people were were all pissed off at people for assuming that she was on drugs and all this other stuff. And if I were her, I mean, seriously, I would have said, you know, honestly, <clears throat> if I'm out there with my Hoover on the sidewalk, I get it. Right. I get it. I if understand. You see me, I've got my, the, the bagged Hoover and it's an upright <laughs> and you're yes, vacuuming agreed. along the sidewalk. Come on. If you have the shop vac, everybody, everybody gets it. They know you're pulling something else up, but yeah. you know, you got, you got to admit that it looks a little silly. If a you're a little the odd. Vacuum. Yes. But yeah, the, the internet went nuts um, yeah. and, and was cruel of course. And they went right to, and it did look a little nuts because she was kind of in her pajama pants and her fl- and her slippers. I mean, you got to help and- yourself, help yourself <laughs> and it, a little bit. You got to help you help she you. She kind of painted the picture. Right. Just a but little after, bit. Well, but if something like that, that happens, you can also be like, you know, I don't care. I couldn't care less what you think. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Right? So and she told him, ha ha, funny, whatever. But the kicker is, is then somebody, because that's the way things are, we don't know if any of this is true or not. As she could have just been a crazy woman with her Hoover out on the sidewalk, but now she has a GoFundMe for a new van. <laughs> Does she? Somebody I want started a new it. Van. Somebody started a How GoFundMe. How do I do something they, where they, I get a GoFundMe where I get something they, new? They felt bad for her because she took so much crap. What? Because she was out there with her her vacuum, her upright vacuuming her sidewalk. That and is crazy. there's no proof that there was any glass on the, and you couldn't tell from the van where it got hit, but I'm not saying that it didn't happen, but I'm just saying, you remember the story about the guy on the turnpike 
Yes. Right? Yeah, I said, yeah. I'm just saying. But now she has a GoFundMe for a new van somebody started, and people are donating like crazy. Like thousands? She's getting there. I'll, I'll have an update for you tomorrow. I just saw this. Um, I saw it earlier, and then a, I saw the GoFundMe. Right a while ago, I, 10, I'll look 15 and see if I can years ago, it. I had a the, <laughs> the, the rear window of a vehicle of mine bashed out in my neighborhood, in my driveway. There were like 15, 10 or 15 vehicles on my street that oh. were all like just smashed. Nothing was stolen, just cra- just smashed. And I was out there with the shop vac and other people out the there with vac. not shop vacs, <laughs> just trying, trying, to get the, trying to get the shards of glass up. Yep. So like, what are you supposed to do? Because if you, if you don't and somebody gets cut, you're going to feel terrible. And it's, it's on your kid. sidewalk, right. you're responsible. So you know what? You just got to do what you got to do. I agree. With you. This just happened a few days ago. Let me see if I can find the GoFundMe. I'm looking right here. I Fundraiser. Want to go fund me. What do I have to do <laughs> to get a GoFundMe? Like these Not people fun, have to, fund. Oh, fund. <laughs> GoFundMe. <laughs> There's a GoFundMe dot com. Just no, pick there is me not. up and let's go. There is no GoFundMe. Go fund me. <laughs> go fund me. I don't know what that would be. <laughs> Look that up. See if it's available. <laughs> go not, fund me. No, because. Then I gotta pass. I gotta. I gotta put that through a Parkville HR to see if we can buy GoFundMe. I want to know if it's available because by all means. Oh, here's your GoFundMe page. GoFundMe page funded. Um, let me get it. It's, it's coming up here. Oh yeah, she's got uh, ninety eight hundred. Oh my god, almost nine, almost ten thousand dollars of the four thousand dollar goal. Oh, I could buy a van for eight. She's got almost ten thousand dollars. Says on the early morning, January twentieth, twenty twenty. Family van got hit by a drunk driver. Actually, I think she even started this. She started it herself. Herself? She does have pictures. She does have a picture of the back of the van. You can see the back window's been popped out. So there was glass. But. <laughs> what? And their yard has glass in it, too. So Is they, they oh, man, see? So she was telling the truth. I'm just saying, after seeing the guy on the turnpike, I don't trust anybody with these Right, no, I hear you. Um, I hear you. But they have it. So she's because of the <clears throat> story, because the because the jerkwad that was trying to go viral <clears throat> with a video of a crazy lady vacuuming her sidewalk. Right. She now has twice as much money as she tried to get. Thank you, jerk. <laughs> and yes, she should be laughing all the way to the bank. GoFundMe.com is available. <laughs> Did you just buy it? No. Well, I can I? <laughs> yes. How much is it? Seven thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars. <laughs> It's available. <laughs> 7,000. So somebody yes. has it and they're trying to yes, sell it, right? for sure. For sure. That's funny. <sighs> GoFundMe.com. Right. Go F-U-N. You that say would be awesome. they should be using it to make some money. You would think, well, they're just they trying are. to sell it. They're trying to. They eight could, grand. They won't Giddy get up. For it. Well, they, they won't get eight grand. No, they won't. No. Absolutely not. Nice try, though. Um, all right. So 402 403 9478. We got a lot of text to get through. You got anything uh, else? You got any other now, ones? There was some wine. There was a wine one. Let oh, the wine. Yeah, the wine thing. There was the a, one that um, said the velo. Velo instead no. of. Uh, well, this is a. Uh, uh, hey, what, Pat, do I have? JT. Francia? Francia? It's uh, Deanna. Yeah. And I get up in the morning and work out before work as well. Thanks, Deanna. Well, she goes to work at noon. I'm with JT. I'm kidding. No. I don't know that. I don't I'm kidding. Know. She doesn't say that. <laughs> I'm kidding. But probably not. <laughs> probably uh, not. I'm with JT. Uh, it says I'm with JT not going out when it's cold to go to the gym. <laughs> I, won't, I won't go in the summer Yay! because it's nice out. <laughs> right. Have a great day. I blah, do blah, that blah. too. Can't uh, win. And then she sent a picture of some barefoot wine. Mm. It says uh, JT, just listen to the podcast today <laughs> about if drinking a bottle of wine a day is bad and it really made me crave a glass of wine at work good anyway, um <laughs> you don't have kids or a husband so if no. you want to drink a whole bottle of wine i'm totally jealous thank you yeah and what in this picture it's funny because this picture is a picture of barefoot wine and then when you like zoom in i thought it was a bottle of wine and like four prescription pill bottles next to it. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but it's not. No, it's like <laughs> essential oils. Okay. Like, yeah. See, that's so what you're supposed to. We learned that too, not to use regular air fragrance, like like air fresheners. Use essential oils because they are much more effective and they're better for you. Who are we talking to the Dr. other day Ginger? about? Was about it about the, the, the lemon oh. under your armpits? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I Did you that. try that? Oh no! Um, I told because I t- Beth uses that uses the like um, clinical yeah 
And I told her, I said the other night, I'm like, hey, babe, listen, your clinical deodorant's like eight bucks. She goes, yeah. I said, hey, I talked to, we talked to somebody named uh, Dr. A doctor. Ginger. Yeah, that you can in, in like six or seven days, like have not to have to use that at all. She goes, yeah. oh my gosh, really? She goes, what do I have to do? I'm like, just cut a lemon in half and just squeeze it under your armpit no, for that's like six exactly days. exactly right. She's like, I'm good. <laughs> Maybe over a long weekend. I don't know. You could try it. <laughs> when I'm out of town. <laughs> See, that's the problem with homeopathic medicine is that nobody has the patience no. for it, number one, and it's messy. It's, it's yeah. just in general, it's messy. That trend that transition period <laughs> is rough. But after like, you get through about six days, you like, just you just cut the lemon and then you just have to wipe the like, lemon. You don't have to squeeze it under your armpit. Well, whatever. Like, babe, you smell like a... Maybe even a little butt. lemon juice. Just regular lemon juice on a cotton ball. Uh -uh. That would probably work. Would it? Because mm -hmm. you can get all 100% lemon juice in the little squeezies that looks well, yeah, like a lemon a, and looks like a, a lime. Yeah, but you can get 100% lemon juice by buying a lemon for 40 cents. But you won't use the whole thing all at once. Right. Exactly my point. I'm like, I'm like, baby, you smell like a think. bus station and a lemon at the same time. Lemon fresh. Lemon fresh bus station. Lemon. You smell like a lemon fresh subway <laughs> station. So she's not going to try it. No, absolutely not. Actually, I slept on the couch. So Homeopathic. It's good for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> we okay, got to go. Okay. 402-403-9478. Text wow. us. Uh, season two is starting off with a bang. <laughs> all natural. Pat and JT Podcast. A Parkville Media Production.